So just over a week ago now, Mr. Beast announced a brand new challenge where all you had to do was download this app where hundreds of thousands of people would be competing to see who could hold their finger on their screen the longest. And in the end, this entire challenge became a complete disaster. I mean, even the first place winner who won this entire challenge did not get paid or contacted by Mr. Beast. So as you can see, Mr. Beast announced this challenge through Twitter about a week ago now. And in this tweet, he said, last to take their finger off the app wins $25,000. The challenge begins in eight days and it's very simple. Download this app, have your finger on the screen when the timer hits zero and you could win $25,000 if you're the last remaining. And obviously millions of people jumped at the opportunity here. I couldn't find an official player count number, but according to this screenshot, almost half an hour in, there was still well over a million players competing. So I mean, that's just ridiculous. That really gives you an idea of the scale of this whole thing. There was over a million people that were serious enough about this whole competition to hold their finger down on the screen for almost half an hour. I mean, if you're competing in this for almost 30 minutes, you're pretty invested. You know, if you're just, you know, doing it for fun, you're probably quitting after five to 10 minutes max. Now, with that being said, even off the rip, this entire competition was a disaster because as soon as the competition started, there was people that were just getting kicked off the app. There was people that were following the rules perfectly, you know, doing nothing wrong. And then the app would just kick them off and it said, you lost. And this wasn't like a one-off thing either because as you can see here, this tweet has 1.8 thousand likes and it says, well, the app was kicking people out even though they were active and had their finger on the app. How about we start with that first? And this was not an issue that was resolved after a couple minutes or anything. This was actually still happening to people hours into the competition. This tweet here says, I'm so upset. I did not let my finger up at all and it glitched me out. I was feeling so confident. This isn't right. Four hours deep for the game to cut out on me man. So there's literally people that would sit here for hours competing into this challenge. They would give up four hours of their day just with the hope that they might win this $25,000 just for the game to glitch out and make them lose. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. You'd think for a $25,000 competition, the app would be a little more well-made. You know, they would make sure that hours in, you wouldn't just get randomly kicked out of the game. Now, this next part isn't even a problem on the side of, you know, Mr. Beast or the makers of the app or anything like that. But obviously, a ton of the people that were competing in this challenge were live streaming it on Twitch and YouTube, and there would be people that would, you know, follow them or just go inside of their stream chat with the name z -ri. And whenever the streamer would thank them for the follow or say what's up to them or whatever, it would activate their Surrey and make them lose the entire competition. So here's a clip of somebody doing this to a streamer three hours into the competition. Wait, did we get any new followers? Oh, hey z -ri. I appreciate the- Oh my god! I don't know what that means. Bruh. Are you fucking kidding me? Bruh. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Why would that be your name on Twitch? Now, obviously, that's not the end of the problems that came with this challenge. The most disastrous part of this whole situation was when Mr. Beast put up this tweet today. After almost three days, it was about two days and 21 hours when this tweet went up. Mr. Beast said, Dear the four remaining contestants with your finger still on the app, I'm ending it here. Three days is insane. You all win and will receive $25,000. Congratulations. Now, from the outside looking in, there's no problem with that. You know, there's four remaining contestants. Essence. He probably doesn't want any of them to get hurt or something. I mean, they've all gone almost three days without any sleep. But the problem here was there was actually three people still in this competition that live streamed almost the entire thing. They had been live streaming almost three days straight and they just received nothing. They weren't contacted by Mr. Beast. They're not receiving $20,000. They get nothing. And this is three of the four final people in this competition. The screenshot that you're seeing on the screen right now, this is the first place winner. This guy live streamed almost the entire three days, Mr. Beast actually acknowledged him earlier in the competition, and this guy ended up getting first place. He won the entire competition on live stream, and he is winning nothing for it. So, after a couple hours here, Mr. Beast tweeted, all four winners have been contacted and will get their money. Lots of people time traveled messing with their settings and are acting like they won. Don't worry, we confirmed the actual winners through the back end, and they have all been contacted. And the thing is, like I said, there's three people who have been streaming this whole competition live 
5 that are still in it. And obviously you can argue the fact that they've been faking it on live stream. But the thing is, why would they fake it by live streaming in the room for three days straight instead of just actually participating in the competition for three days? You know, if you're going to go through the trouble of acting like you're doing it for three days straight on live stream, why wouldn't you just actually do it? That would make no sense whatsoever. Plus, these guys are literally sitting here for three days straight interacting with the chat, showing their screen multiple times. But first off, I'm going to show you guys the clip of the first place winner's reaction where he thinks he's winning the money. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the first place winner's reaction whenever he realizes that first of all, he thinks he won $20,000. And then you're also going to see his reaction once he realizes that he's not getting contacted by Mr. Beast and he didn't win $20,000. You know, he pretty much just got cheated out of $20,000, even though he just spent the last 72 hours on live stream competing in this challenge. Yo, there's only one left. That's me. Am I the only one left? I don't know, bro. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I called him back. Okay, apparently we have to let go because Mr. Beast is trying to call. Yes, dude. Go. All right, guys. Here it is. There's almost 2,000 people watching this. Three, two, one. Two days, 22 hours, 55 minutes, and 22 seconds. They just said they all have been contacted. What the fuck? What? I literally have hours of live stream. Of me sitting here. No fucking way, dude. I'll literally freak the fuck out. Yeah. We were in the, we were, we've been live streaming for days. So, I mean, obviously you have to feel bad for these guys. Like I said, they just spent 72 hours on live stream. They think they just won $20,000 and they just did it all for nothing. They're getting $0 out of this. And all three of these streamers links are going to be in the description and the pinned comment here. So make sure to go follow them and, you know, like some of their tweets replying to Mr. Beasts because clearly their quote back end system here is just entirely flawed. Now here's Here's a second clip from a streamer known as Uzi, and this is his reaction where he reads Mr. Beast's tweet where he says the final remaining contestants get $20,000 each. So this is Uzi's reaction to thinking he just won $20,000 until he realizes that, you know, he's not getting contacted by Mr. Beast. Once again, he's not winning $20,000, all because I guess their quote back end system didn't have him as one of the top four contestants, even though he competed in the entire challenge in front of thousands of people on live stream. So there's Uzi thinking he just won $20,000, and then this was him on Twitter a couple hours later after confirming that he would not be winning anything for this competition. Uzi said, real quick before I go to bed, these last few days have been absolutely amazing. Even though my hand is absolutely killing me, I do not regret it at all. Winner or not, I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now, but apparently my account was fake or invalid or something. So this dude just stayed up for almost 72 hours straight with no sleep. He stayed here staring at this screen, competing in this challenge and he just he won nothing and he can't even get a clear and concise answer as to why he's not getting his twenty thousand dollars it just has to be this this kind of mystery and he actually somehow was just positive about this whole situation which is r ridiculous i feel like after most people realizing they just got cheated out of twenty thousand dollars and 72 hours of their life they wouldn't really be this positive about it but uzi said i've never streamed a day in my life before today but you all made me feel so at home it's like i had 700 best friends all cheering me on. I can't imagine spending that time any other way. We laughed and joked the whole time and I met some really nice and generous people. And like I said, the dude's tweeting stuff like this after he just got cheated out of $20,000. I mean, it's crazy. He lost three days of sleep and he's sitting here saying it was a good time because he got to talk to his stream chat. Now here's the final streamer known as Sheck It Up. And this guy, once again, same situation as the other two streamers. He streamed the entire thing live and he confirmed with a screenshot of his screen time here that 
that he was on the app for 74 hours and 12 minutes straight and you know no contact from Mr. Beast no $20,000 he just wasted his time so I mean it's wild this entire challenge for Mr. Beast it flopped these people got cheated out of $20,000 hopefully he contacts these people but so far he hasn't even put out a statement I mean there's replies under his tweets about this that have thousands of likes and he's just ignoring it so far so I can only imagine it's on purpose at this point but anyway that's where we're gonna wrap up this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel as always you can follow me on Twitter at relaxyt and other than that I'll catch you guys in the next video I'm out